Welcome back everybody, my name is Aprater54, aka Adam, coach from the Chesney Park Slowpokes, and today I bring you the team builder for week number one of BHDL. Today I'm facing off against the best, not really, coach of the Piercing Ponyard. Uh, they have Gliscor, Sneasler, Zoroark Kasui, Fortress, Reggie Drago, Terra Captain Florges, Terra Captain Delphox, Toros Aqua, Terra Captain Appleton, Ditto, and Skuntank. Uh, so I did an experimental build because it is week one. I not too overly concerned with winning. If I do, it's a bonus. But I just need to see what this team can actually do in a draft format. Alright, we have uh, Timid Ursaluna with 48 speed, ma uh, the, uh, max special attack, max uh, the rest in speed with Moonblast, uh, Blood Moon, Vacuum Wave, and Earth Power. Uh, this is designed to just make it to where Shadow Ball can't be spammed by Zoroark. If Ditto copies my Sarah Ledge and it has to lock in the Shadow Sneak, I go Hard Ursa Luna and I wall it because it cannot touch me because I'm normal type, allowing me to bypass Ditto if it comes. Uh, Vacuum Wave is super effective on Zoroark. It does about 70%. So if I chip it down, Vacuum Wave just cleans its clock. And then we have Samurai Pasui with heavy duty boots with sharpness, flip turn, sucker punch, ceaseless edge, and encore. Encore is for Glide Score if it's the sword stance set, encore locks it into that. Florgis if it comes and it's the calm mind set, I can pivot into Samurai, click encore, lock. Um, Floor just into Calm Mind, allowing me to Ceaseless Edge over the top of it, set up some hazard, or flip turn out into a threat that can kill it. Uh, this is max speed, max attack, uh, Jolly. Just needed the speed and the offense. And then we have Nine Tails with Heavy Duty Boots, with a Baton Pass for Fortress. Um, Fortress is going to be the answer every single time for uh, this mon. So if I baton pass out, I am now able to use momentum and get into a mon that does not that easily choose the hit from the fortress. And I can check the Appleton. I can baton pass out and bypass Terra. Same thing. I can baton pass Nine Tails out because it can't touch Florgis. If it goes for Calm Mind, I go Hard Samurai. I encore it in. Yada yada yada. This is max speed, max special attack. Timid. And then we have Cerro Ledge with Clear Amulet because there is a Tauros. This could have been Boots as well because he's a heavy hazard stacking team. But I am Sword Stance, uh, plus two Poltergeist, one hit KOs the Tauros if it is non-bulky. But if I get the weak armor proc, I now outspeed his entire team. And then I just hammer away with Poltergeist, one shot. The Tauros, one, uh, I have to be careful of the Zora work, which is why I have Bitter Blade. I can smack that in the face. And then I was originally flash fire to stop the ditto from being able to do anything when it copies me. Because if I stayed the way I was, it couldn't do anything. So it, if I had no item, Poltergeist can't hit me. If I have flash fire, Bitter Blade couldn't hit me. And then I just have a random move like Flame Charge. Uh, well, that completely walls the ditto, like 100%, but I decided to opt out of that to have fun with weak armor, clear amulet. Next, we have Vika Ball with Sticky Web, Energy Ball. Baton Pass is to be able to pivot out on the Gliscor, which is 
absolutely amazing because now I can't just volt switch um, block me because it's a ground type. I can just baton pass out and then I have energy ball to just hammer away at things. Uh, this behind webs outspeeds Florges with my speed invest, I believe by one if I correct it properly, so I can bolt switch out on Florges, catch the calm mind again, uh, lock it in with Encore, and just have some fun. Uh, uh, this whole plan falls through if this is boots, um, Florges. Because then I just get outsped. The bike vault does not outspeed. And last but not least, we have our sole terror captain this week. This is Defiant with Lychee Berry. If I get under a 33, I think it's under a quarter with my health, I gain plus one attack. Uh, goal is to be able to no retreat up, have. Phalanx chew the hit from Ditto, get the Lychee Berry, and return fire back if it is Choice Scarf. Once I have the Lychee Berry, if they have no priority, then this just wins the game outright. Because I just spam Terra Blast, Knock Off, and Zen Headbutt, plus two Zen Headbutt, does a metric ton to Florges if it's already taken damage. Then Zen Headbutt, as long as it lands should KO the Florges, which is incredibly good. And if it tears into water, knock off at plus two, guarantees one shots the Florges, because it's no longer a fairy anymore, which is incredibly good. And the Terra Blast Fire is literally here for the Fortress. Pop off, let it go, have some fun, and see what happens in this battle. Uh, best of luck to the both of us, and we will see how this goes. When it comes back to it, it'll be the battle. Later. Alright. So, we see Tauros, Sneasler, Fortress, Zoroark, Kasui, and Delphox, and Gliscor. So, he, like myself, only brought one Terra Captain, unless Tauros can. Tauros, Terra, nope. It's just the Delphox. Alright, so what we are going to do is we are going to lead. Hmm, how do I want to do this? Hmm. <laughs> Let's do this. I'm kind of intrigued. Okay, so if I would have just stuck to my guns and made the uh, wheezing that I did, it would have literally just walled this physical team. <laughs> Twister. We bitter blade. Oh wait, I forgot about the Zoroark lead. Whoops, that's on me. Whoops, I forgot. <laughs> and I even talked about that after my team builder too. Blue vacuum wave. Vacuum wave again. Marks. What's 
marks. That is incredibly spidef. Holy crap. We Blood Moon in case I set hazards. No, it's the facade set. Interesting. Oh, well, that might be game. <laughs> I, I kind of... I kind of choked it. Turn one. That's fine. It's week one. Let's sticky web. And baton pass. dry dark false Yes! One more. That miss was massive. Problem is, I should have went immediately for the webs. Fortress is gone. Did he bring anything that outspeeds this? Dark Balls. Maybe I can get a cheeky flinch. Terra Fairy. Yeah. 
Let's see what happens here. This is just a game. Terrorblast. What is your sack? Marks. What is Marks? Phalanx that could is here. Gully Bowl. Zen Headbutt. Pray I don't miss. Lychee Berry, Lychee Berry, pray I don't miss. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Run, train! The little phalanx that could. Blast and pray. He's Scarf. Scarf. Energy ball. That's fine. He is bulky on that. Oh, I, f I lose. I just remembered I'm Encore. I, I pre didn't prepare for uh, Scarf Sneezler. Snar Scarf Sneezler was incredibly clutch. So you're gonna do this. Just end the game with facade.
Dude, facade does more! <laughs> facade does more! Just end this, Jesus Christ! So yeah, I flopped literally since turn one. I... Yeah. Scarf Sneasler did save them, though. Um, I, e I have to double check with them, but uh, best of luck to them in the rest of this season. That was incredibly interesting. Um, I should have, instead of Lighty Berry, ran Salic Berry, but it's in the sake of testing. This is how weak ones go. And yeah. Like and subscribe if you haven't, and enjoy. I'll catch you guys later.